you want to know what it's like to live right here in Satterton, Pennsylvania, what the area looks like, how's the real estate, what the neighborhood looks like, what there is to do, and more, then you're on the right video. Because in this video, I'm going to take you on a full vlog tour of the area, go over all the things to do, what it looks like, and what the, they have for the plans for the future in the coming months and years. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Doug Bear here, the Philly Suburb Realtor. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to know what it's like to live, work, eat, sleep, and play right here in the suburbs of Philly, PA, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video each week. And honestly, my team and I get calls every single day from people just like you who are looking to move here or to Philadelphia area in general. If you want to do that, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, however you want to get a hold of us days, nights, and weekends, we got your back we're moving to Philly suburbs. So Souderton, Pennsylvania actually was not always called Souderton. Back in the day in the 1800s, it was actually called Welshtown because it was founded by the Welsh. And the way that it got its name as Souderton was a man named Henry Souder came here and opened up his uh, Souder's lumber yard is what he called it, right by the train track. And so the town was actually named after Henry Souder and his lumber yard. So today the population is about 7,200 uh, it's definitely growing. It is definitely an up and coming suburb. Um, you can see actually in the historical population growth chart here, uh, it's definitely grown over the years and it's gonna continue to grow because they keep on building, they keep on adding things. They just put a Chipotle here, so you know it's gonna start booming soon. And the reason why it's growing so much and so rapidly is because there's so much to do here already and that's not even including all the plans they have for the future. So right now, uh, just like the park I'm at right now, there are plenty of parks and playgrounds scattered throughout Souderton, something that I love about it. Uh, my family and I come actually to this specific park a lot, uh, but there are so many parks and even like small ponds hidden throughout. Um, a lot of hidden gems in the Souderton area to go hang out and have a good time with the family. So that's something that I really love about uh, Souderton, Pennsylvania, if you're thinking about moving here with a family. Aside from the parks and uh, the playgrounds that are scattered throughout, you have the Souderton Pool and the Souderton Park. Um, the Souderton Park, actually, they just announced that there's going to be a six-year uh, improvement. Um, they're doing a lot of work to the Souderton Park, going to really update it. It's going to be awesome. Um, and the Souderton Pool is also right across the street from Souderton Park as well. And it's already a really nice uh, pool. Great place to go hang out with your friends, families. You know, people coming to visit in town, take them to the pool when it's hot out. It's a really good time. Right outside the uh, Souderton pool, right on that street there is, uh, every, every once in a while they'll have a, a little flea market. Uh, food trucks are there, vendors get set up and sell. I actually got some really awesome fudge uh, from an, a local fudge shop at the flea market the last time I was there and it was delicious. So one other thing that I love about Souderton is actually the location of where, it, where it's at. Uh, it's located about 45 minutes of center, north of Center City, Philly. Um, you know, it's about, uh, Route 309 runs right through Souderton, and from there you can get to a lot of places. You can take it all the way down to Philadelphia, uh, to the city. You can also take it north to Quakertown, through Quakertown, all the way up to Lehigh Valley area. Um, and, and that's where you're going to find Allentown, Bethlehem, Easton, those areas up there. So it's very easy access to get everywhere with Route 309 running right through Souderton. And if you need to take the turnpike anywhere, we're only about a 10 minute drive to the Lansdale Turnpike location. So if you need to hop on the Turnpike, just a 10 minute drive and then you know take it wherever you need to go. Another good thing about the location of Souderton is just you know within two hours, you can get to most of the beaches in Jersey. 
Ocean City, Wildwood, LBI, Long Beach Island. And you're also just about two or so hours from New York City as well. So if you want to take a weekend trip or, or just a day trip to New York City, it's pretty easy access. Um, it's pretty easy to travel right to uh, New York City with just a two hour drive. Over the past few years, um, Souderton's really been building up. Uh, they've, they've added a lot of new local shops, uh, local restaurants. Uh, one of my favorites is the Broad Theater. I used to go there all the time as a kid. They, they re, redid it a few years back and it looks beautiful now. Um, it's a great time. It's actually attached to the uh, Broad Street Italian cuisine. Um, so if you're you know, looking for a dinner and a movie, they're connected and they're both you know, recently rehabbed, very well done, great food. There's also Free Will Brewery, uh, which is a local brewing uh, company that's located right in the theater as well. It's a great area just to go catch a movie, have some great food, and have some drinks after the movie as well, right there with Free Will Brewery and the full bar that's located right in the Italian uh, cuisine. So if you're driving through Main Street right there, there are plenty of local shops and restaurants that are lining, uh, like you know, Burger Shop. So Italian restaurant, there's that little Mexican restaurant that's located in the down, uh, down at the bottom of the hill there on Main Street. And there's a few other places there as well. You know, as I said, it keeps on, they're, they're adding a lot of new things in the area. And actually the North End Market is, is uh, in the works to be coming soon. Um, not sure exactly when they're going to finish it, but looking forward to that. It's just something else to draw people to the area and for, for something to do for the family also as well. And also right there on Main Street, um, on in the summer, spring and summer months, they have what's called Third Fridays in Souderton. That's where you're going to have a lot of vendors lining the street, food trucks, music. It's, it's always a good time every third Friday of the month uh, from the spring to the, through the summer months. And uh, actually, if you come there, you'll probably see me and my table set up as well. So make sure you stop by and say hi. But it's always a good time. Uh, third Fridays, my family and I love looking forward to uh, going every third Friday. And uh, it's just always a good time. Great food, great music, good, good place to hang out if you need something to do on a Friday night. And also right there on Main Street in the, the holidays. So they'll have you know Christmas parade, Christmas tree lighting and a couple other things as well right, right throughout there on the Main Street and the Broad Street area. And also right on Broad Street, you're gonna have a, a local favorite, the Broad Street Grind, a great local coffee shop, nice atmosphere. I'm there pretty often as well. Actually, right off of Broad Street, they just built uh, a lot of townhomes, and they're actually still building uh, about, I think they said 60 new homes, a couple retail stores, and an amphitheater. Um, so that's in the works there, and, and uh, this is the clip here to show you what, where they're putting it and what it looks like now. They're developing, as you can see. But along with uh, everything to do right on Main Street and Broad Street right there, uh, there's a lot of great restaurants scattered throughout. There's Northbound, um, a local favorite. If you like barbecue, you gotta check out Jesse's Barbecue. Uh, always a good atmosphere. They also have live music uh, sometimes on the weekends as well when it's nice out. Um, really good barbecue if you're in the area and you need somewhere to stop in, I'd highly recommend it. And if you like Mexican food, my, lo my wife loves Mexican food. She's always at El Cactus. Uh, that's another town favorite as well. And for me, I like my burgers. So I'm, I'm, I'm always at, heading over to the burger shop right there on Main Street. 
And there's also a Japanese steakhouse located right in Southerton as well, uh, which is in the same shopping center as the Planet Fitness, the Aldi, um, Chipotle. There's a lot of, pretty much everything you need is right there in the main section of Southerton. Um, you know, within a five minute drive, there's about three grocery stores, Home Depot, Staples. There's Wawa right there as well. So pretty much anything you need convenience wise is, is right there in Southerton, uh, right next to the entrance to 309. Now, Souderton High School was actually built uh, just in 2009, so still relatively new as far as high school schools go. Um, I was actually the last class of the old high school, which is now a Ryan Homes development. Um, but but the new high school is beautiful facilities. Um, I'm a Souderton grad myself, so you can actually tell you from experience, it's great education. When it comes to the real estate in the area, the average home sale price right now is about the high high 200,000s to the low 300,000s. Uh, there's a great mix of pretty much any kind of home you're looking for. There's townhomes, uh, there's twins, single family homes, colonials, Cape Cods, apartments, you name it, uh, you can find it. And, and also, there's a great mix of older homes as well as new homes. Um, like I said at, at earlier in the video, there's actually gonna be 60 new homes in development right now, uh, just in that one section. So if you're looking for older home or newer home, you can find both here as well. Make sure you reach out to me. I have all the connections in the area and I'll get you a great deal. Uh, but as far as real estate, I mean, the one other thing that I love about Souderton uh, are all the pockets and neighborhoods. Um, you can see you're driving through, you know, if you come to the area, just drive through the streets. There's all different styles of, of uh, houses and neighborhoods. Um, some beautiful streets, especially in the fall time, where, where there's some, a lot of trees hanging over the streets and it's, it's actually beautiful scenery as you're driving down uh, some of these roads here. But there's a lot of great neighborhoods scattered throughout Satterton um, in all different price ranges as well. So pretty much any kind of uh, price range, style of home that you're looking for, a lot of it's gonna be here, right here in Souderton. Um, or if it's not here, it's right around in the, in the surrounding suburbs as well. So if you are looking to move to Souderton or any of the surrounding areas in Philadelphia in the city or the suburbs, make sure you reach out to my team and I. We are here to help you out. Uh, days, nights, and weekends, we got your back. We're moving to Philly suburbs. I'll see you on the next video.